What a time to be alive. After Google research, Microsoft research has also started coming up with some really cool papers. I'm not saying that they were not doing it earlier, but I think recently they have really hitting it out of the park. In this video, I am going to introduce you to this new research by Microsoft, which deals with a graph rag. Before we look into what exactly this graph rag is, let's have a quick look at the state of the retrieval augmented generation or rag. The biggest challenge is for LLM to extend their capabilities to solve problems on the custom data or the data which is locked up in different vaults of data like in the github repos or the bitbucket repos or confluence or jira teams slack s3 buckets and you get the idea so whatever the data storage is for the organizations if you want to put your large language model to capitalize on that data or to augment the user user's prompts with that data it is still not that easy and straightforward so that is where there are a lot of new possibilities there are a lot of new tools coming up and there are a lot of new uh, frameworks coming up and this graph rag is one significant step in enhancing the capabilities of rag with llms the retrieval augmented generation or rag is a technique to search for information based on a user query and provide the result as a reference for an AI answer to be generated. This technique is an important part of most LLM based tools and the majority of RAG approaches use vector similarity or cosine similarity to be exact as the search technique. But graph, graph RAG gives it a good twist. Graph RAG uses LLM generated knowledge graphs to provide substantial improvement in question and answer performance when conducting document analysis of complex information. This research points to the power of prompt augmentation when performing discovery on private data set. And by private data set, they define as a data that the LLM is not trained on and has never seen before such as an enterprise proprietary research, business documents or communication data. They also created a baseline rag to help solve the problem, but most of the stuff with baseline rag was not working. And that is where this graph rag shines. As I said earlier, graph rag uses LLM to create a knowledge graph based on the private data set. This graph is then used alongside graph machine learning to perform prompt augmentation at query time. Graph rag shows substantial improvement in answering the two classes of questions such as connecting the dots and holistically understanding summarized semantic concept. Let me show you one example from this paper and I will drop the link to this paper and blog post in video's description. So, this example is primarily demonstrating the effectiveness of a graph rag. So let's, if you, let's start with this investigation and let me maybe just make it that bit more bigger so that you know what is happening. So this is sort of an exploratory query. And what is happening here is that this is um, one of the news article where some violent incident happened and they chose this data set due to its complexity. So the exploratory query is what is Novorossia and on the left hand side is a baseline rag which has just gone into it and then uh, graph rag has really given the context around it. Both of these results have performed well to be fair but here we highlight a class of query in which baseline rag performs well. So you can see that in this summary baseline rag has sort of failed to answer the question whereas the graph line rag has really gone very very deeply into it and there is another example where baseline rag has struggled whereas graph rag can answer the question because it is aware of the whole structure through the graph where the nodes are connected with each other 
so the whole data set reasoning abilities have gone way way up when it in terms of ragging so amazing stuff i mean i'm very impressed by this there are a lot of other details which you can read through um, for example if you scroll down i wanted to show you one thing this one so if you look at this one so this is a visualization of graph each circle is an entity for example a person place or organization with the entity side size representing the number of relationships that entity has and the color representing grouping of similar entities the color partitioning is a bottom up clustering method built on top of cross structure which has enabled these researchers to answer questions at varying level of abstraction and this by the way this knowledge graph has been built from a private data set using gpt4 turbo which is interesting microsoft didn't use their own uh, model anyway uh, but maybe you know they are very very in uh, close with open ai so that is why they use gpt4 turbo which is number one llm at the moment anyway so i think by combining this llm generated knowledge graph and graph machine learning this graph rag is going to enable us to answer important classes of questions that we cannot attempt with baseline rag alone so promising results here let's see how it pans out let me know what do you think i will drop the link to it in video's description and read through it and let me share your thoughts in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching